All right, YouTube. A couple of quick updates on my end. Just uh, set up a. Um, I already had a disconnect switch, and this disconnect switch really just controls the flow of my solar and wind. Uh, it uh, allows me to, to direct where I want that current to go, whether it be charge my batteries um, or go to this little plug-in grid tie inverter. Nothing new there. I just rigged up just a single circuit um, battery, a blue C switch, another one here, and this one allowed me to um, actually shut off the power supply to the batteries. So, um, even though I, you know, for safety's sake, you pull out your, your, your disconnect, your solar disconnect, and this is my wind disconnect, and, um, you know, even, even take the current and, uh, put it in the off position, even though you've done all that, it's not going to protect you from the voltage of the, uh, of the battery, um, uh, itself. So how do you isolate the battery and disconnect the battery? Well, it's really easy. Um, you, you just buy another transfer switch. You're going to hook your positive, I'm sorry, your common positive to the common on this, and you're going to connect your number one lead uh, between it and the battery bank, or in my case, just a bus bar um, that starts the whole thing. And the bus bar is in turn connected, uh, actually, the bus bar is connected in turn just to this. Um, my common from this transfer switch is connected between this and the physical battery bank. So anyway, just another little quick tip there, safety, uh, good idea to have that so you can kill every possible power source when you're working on your equipment. Um, I also just picked up, and this will be my little christening video, my little refrigerator, um, well, these guys aren't that expensive. They're basically your your college dorm type refrigerators. I don't know if you could see inside it. I just hooked it up. In fact, we're going to see if it works. Got this little power outlet that uh, you know will allow you to plug in all your DC stuff. So let's give this little baby a go. Let's see if it works. This will be the first time I plugged it in. All right. Let's see here. Let me get some lights. Okay, there's my little power outlet. And we'll stick that in. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I hear power. Oh, we got light. We got light. That's not my camera light. That's a light from inside here. So this little baby draws next to nothing. And it's great for, you know, an emergency or even just as a supplemental refrigeration source. It's not going to hold a whole lot. I'll just kind of bring it back to the camera. You can see it. But it's great. And it's it connects directly DC or AC. I connected DC. I can do either. As you saw, I just connected it DC to my little power adapter here. And the reason we do it DC is because it will... Uh, be um, you don't lose the um, efficiency um, it's more efficient you don't lose the conversion um, efficiency required with a AC inverter such as the one down there so anyway quick little update next project I'm working on is uh, some end phase inverters I ordered uh, got about eight panels 235 watt panels and eight end phase inverters so I'm going to be, uh, and all the rail mounting stuff, I'm going to be posting up a series of videos on my installation um, on that. So uh, look out for that, and uh, I'm excited about it. It's uh, on the way. I should get the material anytime, so looking forward to it. All right, thanks again.